got me for life. Yeah. I don't need a handhold. Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is a tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And if you're excited about that and you want to see how I created this cute little summer smoky eye, then just keep on watching. So this is what the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette looks like. It is honestly gorgeous. I'm obsessed with the packaging. I don't mind that it is cardboard. I mean, she did what she had to do to kind of keep the price down, which I'm kind of happy about. And it is literally just gorgeous inside. Literally gorgeous. I'm in awe. I did dip in a little bit just because I was too excited and I couldn't wait. <laughs> but yeah, it is really pretty. So let's just jump right in. I don't really know what eye look I'm going to go for today. I'm kind of just going to wing it. Um, I just want to see how well the mattes work out and how well the shimmers look on the eyelid. So yeah, that's pretty much what this tutorial is all about. Just testing it out, see if it's worth it, see if it's as pretty as you've seen in pictures online. So first I'm going to go in with Pooter and this is going to go right in our crease. And for this shade, I'm going in with the Morphe M511. Next, I'm going to go in with Roxanne. And I'm going to go in with that same brush that I used with Pooter. And this is going to go directly in our crease as well. Next, with the Morphe E17, I'm going to go in with Jazz. And I'm going to really focus this on my outer corner only, just to deepen it up just a little bit. So next I think I'm going to go in with a cut crease. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Glitter Glue and really carve out my lid. And then place a shimmer right on top of that. And then for my shimmer shade today, I'm going to go in with the shade Sissy. And to apply this, I'm using a Morphe M210. So now that that shade is applied, I'm going to go in with a very small pencil brush and really clean up the edges on the top just to make it a little more deeper so it really stands out that it's a cut crease. So I'm going to go in with that really deep plummy shade Jazz. So now I'm just going to blend all of those colors together just with that big fluffy brush just to make sure there's no harsh edges. You can see that shimmer shade has like a undertone of yellow flecks of gold maybe in it. I don't know. So like whenever you turn your head a certain way it kind of like catches the light and it looks like you have gold mixed with the pink. I don't know, I thought it was cute. It's something different, definitely. So I really want to go in with this yellow shade called Creamsicle and really buff that underneath my lower lash line just to bring out that yellow tone in the shimmer shade that we applied. So I'm going to go in with a very dense brush to do this. And then to make the eyes really pop, I'm just going in with the NYX white eyeliner and just popping this on my lower waterline. And then I am just going to go pop on some falsies and some mascara and then I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. And this is the completed look. So I just threw on some lashes and some mascara. And then the lippy is Kat Von D Lolita 2. And that is pretty much all I did. I'm kind of like dying for this eye look right now. I'm obsessed. I think the quality of all of the eyeshadows are so good. So good. 
Um, I did not try these shimmers out just alone. I did use a glitter glue, which I do like to use a glitter glue with all types of shimmers just because it does enhance all all of them no matter how good or how bad they are it enhances them so much better and it just like look at this eye just look at it for a second yeah I'm dying I absolutely love this I think it's perfect for summer even if you don't have the white eyeliner if you don't want to do the yellow on the bottom then girl just put the red on the bottom or just leave it plain I think it is gorgeous I think all of these shadows are gorgeous in her palette this is definitely an A-plus in my book. It is literally perfection. I'm obsessed. I pretty much use this every single time I do an eye look now just because it has every single color that you need in it. Pretty much. Pretty much. Your warm tones, a pop of color, your neutrals, your transition shade, your bright colors. It literally has everything in it. So there's nothing more I can really ask for. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you're notified every time I upload. And give this video a like if you think this is a cute little summer look. So yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!